Okay. Oh my. in the mail today. Do you see that shit? Can you see it? Do you see the GG? You know what that means? It's Glen Gillen. It's a custom bottle from Alor. It smells funky, but I'm gonna give it a wash and I'm gonna use it today in the gym. Well, no, I probably won't. It looks way too fancy for a gym bottle. Fuck all that. Man has spent the morning planning the day. Um, it's leg day, people. Before I do anything, though, I do want to update you all. Are the people who are interested in the bulk and the specifics, okay? So I started my bulk on 3,000 calories and that was still doing 300 calories of cardio a day so I was roughly at about 2,700 which is a tiny bit over maintenance which is why I looked sick right now I'm on 3,500 which is a decent bit more still on 300 calories of cardio a day never gave that up for the whole bulk the goal is and what I'm trying to maintain is to gain half a pound a week instead of piling on weight and getting to 90 kilo 100 kilo and 75% of it being fat increase your calories a lot slower than you would have and you're gonna gain the exact same amount of muscle with little fat Boom! Okay Oh man <laughs> I'm gonna give someone a goddamn heart attack soon Okay people, it's half one plan for today, okay? It's leg day, I already told you all that We're gonna go train, we're gonna come home, we're gonna cook a post-workout meal We're gonna get these gains Again, tonight we have to fly off. We're meeting an old pal in town to film a podcast for a podcast he's just starting up. And you know me. My life is exciting. It's not really. But, um... Here he is again! Well, What you want? What you want? And he's talking about filming in this car. <laughs> he creeps up on me. Okay, so, let's not waste any more time. What we're gonna do is make a contraption with this bottle right here. Some people call me crazy. I call me sexy. Not with my hair like this though. You know what this is called? This is called the back wave. Get with it. Okay, we're outside the gym. We're gonna put this bottle to use. How? Boom! 3D energy. What's happening? I'm out of breath. I ran to the gym, got a 3D, came back to the car. People are like, what the fuck wrong with this kid? I said I'm a YouTuber. Oh shit. Haven't had the white one in quite some time. AKA an hour ago. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Lads, I am a weirdo on and off camera, trust me. Yes. You hear that shit? That's the sound of glory. That's the sound of a trip to the toilet. Am I the only one who takes regular trips to the toilet? I mean, a guaranteed trip to the toilet 15 minutes after consuming my first milligram of caffeine. <sighs> okay, people, it's leg day. The bottle is, is getting cold. I'm excited. Okay, that is legs done. It is coming on 4 p.m. We need to get home, make some food. Man is hungry. I haven't had a proper meal yet. And then we have to shoot off into the city center to film this podcast. Okay, people, post-workout meal is three bagels, three chicken fillets, and a whole bottle of Mando sauce, AKA the sauce of success. All right, so I'm gonna eat this, get showered, get changed, and then we're gonna dart into town. We made it to the joint. There he is, give me the double boy set back. I haven't said who it was with yet, but it's with Alex, man. Who knows Alex? Nobody. Nobody shit. I ain't been on the tube in a while. Ok 
Okay, so the podcast went well last night. <coughs> I feel like I'm getting sick. But anyway, it's always a good experience being on stuff like podcasts. I have another one booked for next month with um, a different podcast host. Anyway, I woke up today a little late. Plan is to try and at least somewhat find decent accommodation and cheap flights for London because I'm only going for a day. I don't want to be spending 200 on flights and 200 on accommodation and then Ubers and food. The trip could easily cost over 500 euro for one day, 24 hours. Is it worth it? Yo, people, we are back in the Gillen Mobile. Check out this new spa that I acquired last night. Today is chest day. I have had a lot of food already. I think I ate like four hours ago. It was over a thousand calories for breakfast. This is a big breakfast. Man's making these gains. But anyway, we're about to go and train. It's chest day. We're going to switch up the lenses. We're going to get the 30mm lens out and get some sick angles. And the waves get washed over me. Action. What's up people? I took three ZMA tablets last night. It's now 10.45. It's the latest I've woken up in like a month. And I had the best sleep you could possibly imagine. Like this shit was crazy. Ah, uh, man, I'm still in the sleep. The sleep was so deep. I'm still climbing out of it. Fellas, I'm gonna wrap up this video by giving you the best piece of advice you will ever receive in life. Fellas, I've been getting a lot of questions lately since the channel has been doing decent. It's been doing real nice. How to grow within the fitness industry. I get asked this so much because I haven't made it yet, but we're on the right path. And if you don't fucks with it, get out of here. <clears throat> if you're gonna sit there and tell me I'm not, I'm gonna prove you wrong. But I'm showing hella love along the way. Appreciating people. I'm making new friends. I'm showing all the other content creators love. And it's just a good time, man. There's enough success for everyone. Okay, best piece of advice to grow within the fitness industry. Every video does not need to be a vlog. Boom. Did I blow your mind? Did you just have an epiphany? What I mean by that is everyone jumps into the fitness industry and they feel like vlogs is just mandatory, okay? It is. If you want to grow within the vlog and fitness scene, what I noticed this year is you need to be producing videos that reach past your audience. Stay sharp. Keep an eye out for what's trending or what's about to trend. If you see a new food eating challenge, if you see a new video concept, like the 24 hour eating videos, jump all over it. Don't waste time. You have to be sharp with this shit, lads. You have to be sharp within any industry. For me, I done the 24 hour eating video a long time ago before I ever saw anyone do it. But I saw it went viral in a different industry, so I said I'm gonna bring it into the fitness industry. It got numbers, then Matto's Fitness hit the jackpot with the McDonald's one that went viral. So I'm like, shit, I need to do this again. Jump on the McDonald's one. Bam, I reaped the rewards. I gained 15,000 subscribers that month. And I realized, holy shit, I could have been vlogging for another year, stressing four hours of editing every second day to have got the exact same reward as I would have jumping on a viral video or staying sharp to where I can jump on a video that may go viral. It's crazy, it's like holy shit, thank God. But anyway, keep an eye out for what's relevant within this industry, okay? If you see an event that's going on, if you see a certain video idea that's about to trend or is trending, jump on it. Put the effort in, okay? Get involved, collaborate. What I've always told myself is I'll never ask someone to collab with me if I can't give them what they can give me, okay? Unless we're like really good friends and we just clash like that, like our personalities just, Cause I got that big bang. We make a new universe. <laughs> but uh, that's it people. Not every video needs to be a vlog. 
throw some informative videos, stuff that reaches past your audience, stuff that may branch out into different industries, reel them all back in, they cannot watch your vlogs. I'm always looking for what's about to go viral or what is viral, and I'm all over it. I'm all over it like some baby oil all over the big ass, and I'm ready to smack. Shit, lads, there's a lot of good shit happening soon that I cannot announce and I feel like a kid trying to not tell his friend a secret in primary school. This is sore. I just need to thank you for all the love and support you're giving me lately. Uh, without you, all this shit that I want to talk about would not be happening. But just know, the end of this year and 2019 shit is happening. We're about to make a mark on this industry. But I'm saying that with confidence, that's what you need to have. And I hope this little piece of advice helped you, okay? Anyway, drop this video a thumbs up. I want to see some crazy numbers on this video. That's it, people. The love is real. Smart love, very sexy. He in the next man. I'm sorry. 93, I even got it tatted on me. 2012, lady.